What is going on, MVIS family? I hope I've got your attention. Listen, Chris is here. I know it's not Sunday yet, but it's Saturday, and he doesn't know whether or not he'll be able to make it tomorrow, so we had to start today early, but the benefit of that for you guys is that maybe you'll get a double header here. Yes, maybe he'll be back tomorrow, maybe he won't. It just depends on how nice you guys treat me in the comment section. So, with that being said, if you want Chris back tomorrow, go ahead and leave a comment and say, Chris, please be back tomorrow. Otherwise, he's going to say uh, he's busy or come up with some kind of excuse not to be here. By the way, if you haven't subbed to Chris yet, simply look in the description below and uh, hit that link with Chris's channel on it and sign up. If you love Mavis, then don't you go anywhere because we're going to be starting right now. Now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If you're new here and you want to learn how to use stocks and options to make your portfolio go parabolic, make sure you start now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss an upload. All right, so we're back. We got Chris here. We got me here. We're going to be talking about MVIS. Now, you guys know me traditionally as a bear. Maybe I've turned into a bull. I'm not going to reveal it yet, but we will be talking about a lot. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tongue twisted here. We will be talking about a lot of important stuff. So if you're an MVIS shareholder, if you're investing in this company, you may want to stick around and listen to everything we've got to say. Chris has turned into somebody that's pretty much, I don't know, posts like 40 videos a day on MVIS. I mean, everything you need to know about MVIS, if you want to know about it, just go sub to his channel right now because if you're not, you're missing out. I'm going to say that much. So We're I've, just over there having fun, Pat. We do conspiracy theories. It's not all math class. We're having fun over there. A lot of fun. and <laughs> He's got an accurate model and his model's... Uh, well, now, they wouldn't say it's accurate, but I feel like it's pretty accurate for me. <laughs> I feel like it's accurate. Well, uh, all right, I, I won't say anything else about that, but... You promised, <laughs> you promised, Pat. I did promise. So, okay, guys, listen, I, I've got to tell you all the truth. I Look, I told Chris, I said, listen, let's shoot some videos here. So we recorded one on Fubo. We started recording another one. And I said, Chris, let's... You know, talk about MVIS. There's so much to discuss here. And he's like, no, no, because you're going to talk bad to my family. I said, listen, Chris, I promise. You know, I love these guys, even though they hate on me. I still respect MVIS, and I promise I'll contain myself as long as we get to shoot this. So he said, okay. So that was my promise. I'm not gonna Always say think about the guy who got in at $2. So the guy that got in at $2 last year and is trading at $15 this year, that guy thinks he's a genius, and it's offensive when they hear you talk about him, Pat. Well, that guy is a genius, <laughs> okay? That's, that's all there is to say. And that is the only bad thing I have about this company is that I was not a genius last year. I was not either. <laughs> now, I did get in at like 30 cents, 25, 40, but my ungenious self sold a little too early. So, you know, you guys did better than me if you're still holding. You guys did much better than me. I'm a little jealous, I'm a little heartbroken, but hey, it's just money, right? Actually, no, it's not. It's a fortune, I gotta admit. It's a fortune, you guys. Y'all did great, y'all did well. I'm gonna have to apologize to some of you. I know we've been kind of uh, going at it, going at each other in the comment section. Listen, I don't hold a grudge against anybody. I want to welcome everybody to join my channel. I want to be able to discuss things with you in a civil manner. There's a lot of you that have been taking cheap shots at me. That's still cool. I, I'm still not mad at you, okay? It's turned out that sometimes you're right. Sometimes I can be right. And I feel like you guys are turning this into a me versus you deal. That's not how it is, okay? You guys misunderstood my intentions from the get-go. I said the things that I said because of, uh, you know, issues that I have found with the company. And I want to be able to warn those of you that may not have done your DD or that may have listened to somebody that said that they've done their DD but actually didn't, whatever the case may be, it's irrelevant. I'm just, my intentions were in the right place. They still are in the right place, okay? That's all I want you guys to understand. And 
I want you guys to understand that I'm not, you know, I'm not hating on anybody. Okay, it doesn't matter if you do or don't agree with me. I still respect your position. I still respect your opinion. I still respect you as a person, as an investor. I'm not talking down on anybody, but I do have some concerns that I want to address. And whether or not you agree with those concerns, I think that you should, you know, listen as an investor or as somebody that's got a stake in this company because it does affect you. And it's just, you know, simple as that. So why don't we all try to work together as one team, as one family, forget all the beef, forget all the drama. Let's just talk business. Let's talk MVIS. Let's talk about the concerns that I have. If you guys don't have the same concerns and if you have some encouraging words for me and something that you can share with me that will maybe, you know, appease some of, some of my concerns, share it with me. You know, if you can change my mind, then I'm glad to talk about that in my next video. It's as simple as that. Help me deal with my issues, and, and that, I will help you deal with yours. But if I could just interrupt for a second, that's sure. where I get a lot of my content is from uh, the engagement uh, in the comments. I read a few comments if they're interesting. I research them. I come back and I say, "Hey, I looked at it. Now what?" And they they respond. I go back. I, we I say, "Hey, now what?" So we we have a lot of interaction and engagement uh, that way, and they they're reaching back and answering and educating me. I'm learning from them and. Uh, and that's the kind of environment I like, uh, you know, that, that bloodshed and fighting and bickering and, uh, you know, I, I don't really, no one having fun with that. Uh, I like to be engaged. If these guys love it, tell me why and let me go look it up and see, okay, he's got a point. He's got a point. She's got a point. Uh, and, and that's all this is about. We, we're not here combative. Uh, I don't have a stake. I know you do a, a good positive stake and I expect some of that money you made, but <laughs> Uh, at any rate, uh, you know, we just want to have good uh, conversation, good adult, mature, uh, you know, dialogue about it. You know, everybody's rooting for the home team. Uh, if it, you know, if it's a stock coming out there and you're invested in it, you want to talk about it, uh, that's what content creation is for. You know, I didn't get in this uh, to be a UFC fighter or a YouTube uh, gangster, you know, so uh, let's have fun, you know, educated talk and uh, make this money. Now, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but from, from what I understood there, are you trying to tell me to go in, into your comments and start posting a bunch of stuff? I, I really try not to, to get involved with any of that, uh, you know, because nobody wins. You can't win an argument. Uh, we do differ. Uh, the very first video I posted, we had our differences. We've moved on, me and my uh, family over on uh, Spot On. Uh, you know, I still have one guy, and I, I, uh, I mean, I would have uh, a thousand views and one dislike, so I still have that one guy, and I tell you, man, I want to get that guy hooked, but, uh, <laughs> but everybody else, you know, that we, we, we have, uh, we speak our piece, I like it, the comment, I appreciate the engagement, we move on, and you can learn a lot from a lot of different uh, perspectives, it's a lot of people been in it a long time, we have technology experts we have uh, summit experts we have forward experts i mean i never knew what to play with. i thought the play was microsoft we i ran those numbers and i you know i have a model built so any company that has any kind of interest i'll go back and run that play and say hey look what i found what if these guys do it and a lot of people just kind of like to see how the story unfold. It is an intriguing story. And I, you know, I wake up uh, thinking about it and, hey, what about this angle and that angle? And I uh, put it together and I get a lot of uh, feedback uh, from the uh, group from it. So, Chris, you said that you uh, wake up thinking about it and I have a confession of my own to make. So lately, MVIS has been haunting me. Okay. It's, it's like I just keep researching and digging and digging and digging even more. And sometimes I feel like I bury myself because there's so much information out there and a lot of it is so hard to understand. And I'm not talking about the financial side of things. We're not talking about, you know, their earnings call and how much money they're making or not making or whatever. I'm talking about the technology uh, that, you know, the technology that's involved here. Okay. This stuff, you know, if you're not someone that understands how LIDAR works, 
oh my god, this thing can give you a headache. And I've been trying to, you know, I thought I knew a lot about it, but the dig, the deeper that I dig, it's like, oh my god, you know, I need another Tylenol. Like this thing is freaking killing me. There's so much to consume here. And the more that you dig in, it's like the more you realize that you really know nothing. So, listen, I know that a lot of you out there know a lot more than me about the technology, okay? And that's okay, that's fine, I'm willing to admit that. So help me understand, okay, so that I'm not making a mistake in my, uh, you know, investing journey. We're all here to work together. We're not here to work against each other. We're not here to fight each other. We're all here to help each other out. That's why we have the internet. That's why we have YouTube. It's so that we can all unite and fight the enemy, which is the U.S. government. I'm kidding. Totally kidding, you guys. Listen, my point is we're here to work together. We're here to make money together. So let's do that. Why do I have to fight you? Why do you have to fight me? Okay, because my stance or my position or my opinion differs a little bit from yours. Help me understand why you came to the conclusion that you're at and you know if i disagree with it maybe i'll give you an argument that will perhaps convince you to look at things my way either way why don't we share compare notes and work together rather than you know working against each other that's what this is about that's what this should be about i have those kind of people pat uh, you read some of my comments i am getting uh small books <laughs> i mean I have got, I am literally just impressed by some of these comments I get. I've, I've learned so much, but, uh, you know, I think where we're headed today, we were going to talk about some of the confusion and I'll just throw mine out, uh, you know, right off the bat. All right. Well, was it your understanding on the last conference call that this, this, uh, software, this LIDAR was going to be premium disruptive? And yes. cutting edge and level four and level five base, and that's what this funding round was for. Yes, but I think what I, I and again, a lot of people already know I was in on the conference call hearing it live. Yeah, did um, he mention that he was going back to level three and that's where the money was? That completely turned, turn, so did I mean, the strategy change? I mean, someone because I had posted a video today alluding to the fact that the uh, U.S. government has support in the Senate to ban, outlaw, uh, level four and five autonomous driving. And where does, you know, what happens to all of that R&D money right. that these companies, yeah. I mean, this is way bigger than Microvision at this point. If they say, yes. hey, this is obsolete now, this is one of the risks. And I went through the whole company and the financials, and this is one risk that kind of slid right under the radar with me that I did not have in the model was the risk of the our own U.S. government putting in restrictions on this technology. So I believe he had come back off of four and five. I think he's back in three. And then I uncovered the fact that uh, Dick Durbin, a, a senator from Illinois, is trying to mandate all commercial vehicles carry level three protections that is right in line and lockstep with what somebody is saying about protecting and saving lives. So I think the tone in this one that, and I, again, I lean on a, a lot of the viewers you have and listeners that you have, is that the tone they got? Do you think it's going level three because of what happened in Texas with Tesla or, you know, what's the deal? Because a lot of people, me included, was expecting something uh, four or five-ish based on, you know, all of the talk that Summit was saying in the uh, the last earnings call was that it was going to be cutting edge and disruptive. I did not expect some level three technology uh, at this point. I was just kind of uh, shocked by that. So, but if this is normal, I love to hear a lot of people take, educate me on it because it, it you know, make it make sense. It does not make any sense to me. Hey, I feel the same exact way. Now, I have to admit I've been studying like other people's technology, other companies' technologies. I've uh, recently discovered some new companies that I've never even heard of before that are offering something very similar to what Summit describes that this A sample can do. Uh, specifically, a company out of Australia that I ran into today that's 
similar in a way, but I'm going to save that for another video. I haven't really even begun doing enough research on that company to be able to talk about it right now, but I did find it interesting and I've put a lot of time into it. I've, I've put a lot of time into a lot of different companies and their technology to have something to be able to compare what uh, Microvision's technology is is doing because a lot of uh, people that are leaving comments and you know talking to me are just swearing by Microvision's technology and talking about how you know life changing it is, how disruptive it is, and kind of making me feel like a fool for doubting Microvision's technology. But it's not necessarily that I doubt their technology. You know, I was looking at their financials, I was looking at their history, and you know how narrow-minded of me to to kind of discount them for their past. Okay, you know everybody has a past. I know that I wouldn't appreciate people judging me for my past because I know that things are completely different, and I've realized that maybe I shouldn't be judging this company by their past. So I'm willing to be more open-minded. I'm willing to set aside my own personal bias to kind of hear, you know, hear what you guys have to say and and basically just be more open minded to to what's going on here, okay? Because I'm not always gonna be right. You're not always gonna be right. Yeah, the the approach was in the beginning, I think, a lot was geared towards uh, you know, maybe attacking some intelligence, but you know, one thing I learned is that a lot of everybody invests different ways. And one thing I learned on my channel was a lot of people that engage with me when I stop, you know, when we got past my bullish position at this share price, uh, they said, well, you you know, you're down on them. You're this, you're that. I said, I'm not down on them. I just think they're a little expensive. I'll wait till they go on sale. Uh, no one asked you to buy them at 15. So why are you asking me to buy them at 15? Yeah. But uh, once we got past that, we were able to uh, put our differences to the side and learn a lot. And a, and a lot of people saying, hey, man, I understand what you're saying, but I'm just in for the sale. I bought them because I thought they were going to be acquired. And if that doesn't happen uh, soon, I'm out. And I was like, OK. And I got another guy say, hey, I'm here to uh, 100. You know, so you got to, you know, not on a personal level. But at a personal level, as it pertains to their investment strategy, so you get to see a lot of angles on uh, where people are. And I ask questions. I'm like, hey, uh, why don't you get on the earnings call? I think you have a good point. You know, one of the things I want to see on one of their earnings calls is someone challenge what he's saying about yeah. this technology. Yeah. Because if you hear these analysts, it's kind of like, uh, they're scared to even ask him anything. I mean, this guy throws out the fact that he's going to start production in Asia and no one asks who's going to pay for that. How much is this going to cost? I mean, you're overrunning a little office in Redmond, Washington, and you're going to start production overseas. And, and actually, that's my next video is how long is this current cash going to last if they don't get absorbed, acquired, or merged into somebody? So, and that's one of the one things, I guess, one of the irritations that I had. I didn't ask any questions. I didn't feel right because I I am not an investor. But I think uh, if I ever listen to another earnings call, Pat, I am going to buy one share of stock the night before so I can have my conscience clear. And when I get buzzed in, they can say private investor. Uh, I would have been lying if I would have buzzed in uh, on this other one, but I just wish someone asked the tough questions because in the comments, we're going to get asked the tough questions. That's right. And I felt like he got a pass, not saying that he's trying to manipulate, not saying he's bad. I just feel like he should have explained it. And it was some sharp people uh, asking some good questions on the earnings call. But you just can't come out and say you're going to start production in Asia and no one say anything. Now, Chris, that is one thing that I'll agree with you on. The way that it was kind of like brought up, it's like, you know, it was so just nonchalant and he just kind of, yeah, we're starting production in Asia, da, 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 da. but it was like, you know, there wasn't like a big deal made out of it. I myself would be expecting this to be something that's like pretty significant. I would be expecting all of these uh, analysts to be like, oh, hold up, you know, and asking more questions about it asking for more details. 
Nobody said a single thing. There wasn't a single question asked about this whole production thing in Asia. I found that to be kind of strange, you know, for one. Yeah, it's like you, you, if your wife says, oh, you our lake house. Wait, whoa, what lake house? Yeah. <laughs> we got a lake house? <laughs> when? How? You know? Yeah, it was. I felt, <laughs> and you know, the other thing that really, really uh, caught me was when he went from uh, you know, level four level and five four, yep, to, level, to three. level three. No one even asked. And I got a question, I guess, for some of the listeners is what, how do you explain this RD burn? Oh my if gosh, you're going yeah. to level three, is it the same? It may be the same. I don't know. I'm just asking a question. D- is it the same research and development burn uh, developing to level five autonomous driving? Because that was what he was feeding. Uh, to justify this fifty million dollar shelf offer, right? Yeah, but now he's sitting up here bragging about he's got all this financial runway and building the plan in Asia. And I'm like, wait a minute, let yeah. me. I, how does this fit? <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe some of these guys know. Hey, we're all ears. We're just playing, you know, devil's advocate. Did anybody catch it? I know a lot of people are just in it for the sale. And that's fine. If you don't want to chime in, you don't really care. But if you're long, if you're one of these hundred, uh, you know, um, hundred dollar share people, I've seen some thumbnails say two hundred. If you're one of these people, uh, does it bother you? Did do you even care? Does it matter? Maybe we're making uh, a hill of beans out of something that shouldn't be a hill of beans. You know, one thing, Chris, that I do want to mention very quickly is a lot of the people, you know, that kind of went hard on me in the comment section. When I ask them questions or when I bring something, you know, to their attention or, you know, whether they attack me about something that I'm like, okay, well, you know, well, explain it to me. Tell me what, you know, what you're talking about here. They kind of, they have a negative attitude towards answering questions. It's like, you know, they'll say, well, well, you don't know. Well, that's your problem. And that's not the exact response that I get from them, but it's something along those lines you know, when I ask anything or say anything to them. So I think that the interaction between us could be a little bit better. And I think that we would all appreciate it a little bit more if you guys would engage a little more and and, and help us by, by helping to educate us where, you know, we have weaknesses, okay? Obviously, I mean, <laughs> LIDAR is not something that's going to be everybody's, you know, strong point you know especially like some of you guys have been invested in this company for a while you know for years so you understand exactly what the tech is here with this company and you know the potential here you know that's not that doesn't hold true for everybody that's analyzing this company if you think about content creators and youtube you know you've got to put this in into perspective okay we're having to cover all these different companies so we don't necessarily have time to understand every single aspect of every single company. We don't have time to research and learn it. I mean, there is no possible way at all that we could possibly, you know, just be able to to uh, get even, even start to understand all the stuff that's out there. I mean, we don't even have time to review it all, much less to know, <laughs> to, to learn all this stuff that's like foreign to us and be able to understand it, you know, enough to be able to come back. I'm doing my best. And the reason you haven't seen a video out of me in probably like four or five days. And look, I'm going to come clean and tell you, I've, I've intended to uh, come out with a video every single night for the last few days. But it's like the more I start digging, the more stuff comes out. And I'm just like, man, I'm like lost in the sauce here. Like I've got a whole lot more digging to do before I can, you know, speak on any of this because I've made my initial videos, you know, maybe biased on my part a little bit. And I'm maybe judging this company too hard based on more fundamental stuff that your traditional investor would be judging a company by. And some of you guys have brought it to my attention. Like, Hey man, you're only looking at the financials. You're only looking at this and that, but you're not considering the potential here based on the technology you know, the know-how that these guys have. So I tried to put myself in your shoes to realize what the actual potential here is. I want to see what I'm missing. So I that's this is where I'm calling calling on you guys 
you know, and some of you senior investors to, to help help me see the light, to show me the way, you know, so to speak, and help me understand because there's so much conviction and technology here that I feel like I am missing something and I don't want to be ignorant, you know, because only somebody that's ignorant is going to ignore pretty much, you know, the, the excitement and the conviction behind this company. I had to come to that realization for myself. I guess open up a little bit more, become a little bit open, more open-minded and, and realize that, you know, there's something here that I'm missing, a piece of the puzzle that I'm not seeing, that I don't have, that you guys can help me by filling me in a little bit and helping me understand and put all the puzzle pieces together to where we get one clear picture. That's that's one thing I learned real quick about this uh, company is you can get lost in these financials and you can get a bad story. But if you look at the whole picture here, I think I um, one of my videos, I've done so many on this company. This is a prime target for a, a technical analyst to cover. And, you know, I am totally... Uh, not a technical analyst, but this would be a prime candidate. And one thing you really have to add to this company is the passion, uh, yeah. the following. I mean, these guys are in and the support. You don't make it 28 years without a product, without support and people that believe in you. And that's nothing to take lightly. So I've actually made some adjustments to my model to capture that support because no matter how long I say this company is intrinsically worth $5 a share, the support it gets won't ever let it get there. I mean, I doubt it ever gets down to my price target because the support is so strong. Uh, now, uh, will that change, you know, five, 10 years down the future? We don't know. But uh, we do know that I haven't seen a, a company go 28 years without revenues or revenues to speak of relevant uh, relative to expenses. But, you know, you'll have people come back and they'll say, well, you know, they make money. They, they've generated some money. I, I, you know, but when you stack it up against uh, what it costs to generate those revenues, that's that's what I'm talking about. But they have the support. I think uh, Summit can go and ask them for any amount of money and uh, he'll be able to get it. Uh, this technology is that popular. And that's the part that I think really needs to be brought into focus with a lot of uh, the listeners that know technology and, you know, call in or express uh, that knowledge, uh, you know, in the comments below because they need someone on the conference call to challenge and say, hey, uh, I've read uh, some, you know, authors say that was, you know, knowledgeable about the uh, technology and said, they just kind of brazenly, you know, drop the specifications, drop the you know, expectations, and uh, don't say anything about it. And I wasn't able to catch it. But what I was able to catch is when the cash flows change and your strategy changes. It is very hard to change a strategy. You almost have to start a brand new company. I talked about it before. I talk about it again. You talk about Hyundai and Genesis. They have been trying to reintroduce Genesis as a luxury brand for I don't know how long, it just does not work. And that is nothing against the car, but that is the power of branding, the strategy. So he comes out and changes the strategy and doesn't offer any color on it. So someone could, I can be able to catch that, but how, what I want to know is how much it is, has been happening, you know, right in front of my face to this technology. It's just, you know, I'm just oblivious to that. You know, Chris, I went all the way back and started listening to all of the investor or investor calls that are on file on the website. On a lot of them, if you go back a certain amount of years, all you get is just the transcripts. You don't actually get the audio there. So I've downloaded all those transcripts. I will be reading all of them. It's going to take me some time. but And I've actually read some of them already. But uh, I've been listening to all of the audio that's that's available. I guess I won't go into too much detail here. I'm actually saving all that for a separate video, but I did find some things that don't sit right with me that I'm going to, I guess, address in a video. And I I would love for you guys to comment on that when the time comes and kind of, you know, give me some feedback. There's things with every company that I'm sure if we all looked into it, we'd find things that would bother us. So I'm not trying to... 
I'm not trying to pick on this company, not at all. And the past is the past. I want to focus on the future and I wanna focus on what makes this company great. Why do you guys support this company the way that you do? Because there's something there that I'm missing. So that's, that's where I need help. But I'm going to do my best to present everything that I find with, with as little bias as possible, you know, and that may be a little challenging for me, but I'm going to, if I have to, I'll edit and re-record and, and do things to where I present this, you know, in, in a mat, in a manner that's as fair as possible for everybody. But, you know, this is where I'm calling out to you guys for your help. You know, those of you that, that are senior investors in this company, and I've ran across some of you already in the comments section. We've you know, we've had our differences, but ultimately I'm willing to listen to you. I'm willing to let you, you know, tell me what what really attracts you to this company because there's something there and I want to understand it the way that you do. Yeah, yeah, you have three different types of guys in here. You have the the early speculators uh, that just got in at penny stock status and are uh, very wealthy now. You have people coming in just for uh, the mergers and acquisition crowd. Mm -hmm. And then you have the people that really believe in this technology. And I get the first two. I would love to hear from that last group. So, yeah. And I think it was some back and forth early on when I was researching. It was their competitive edge was one of the competitors had a product, but it was just so big and bulky. They couldn't put it on a car. Right, nobody no. would buy a car. So... That advantage is gone. I think that company has gotten that figured out. Who was mm -hmm. that? Luminar or Validine? Uh, I or? think it was Validine. Yeah, um, so they it's not bulky as it used to be. So what's the advantage? And now? they're super cheap too. I mean, so another thing about Val uh, Validine, at least from my understanding, from you know when I looked into it, is that their technology or their product is so much cheaper. It's like a hundred bucks, I think. You know, I've seen some places where they're saying a hundred to five hundred, but the last it seems that the most recent thing that I read or the, the information that's most recently been made public is that the, the technology costs somewhere around $100. Now, I don't know if that's why, you know, you have to put up with the siren looking thing on top of the vehicle. <laughs> I don't think I'd, I'd wait on Microvision to see what they right. had before I did that. But they did, that was an issue that I don't think that issues anymore. But I guess one last thing before I even get out of here, uh, as it, what did you were you done with the the sirens or? Well, let me just say this very quickly. Chris has to get out of here, so I'm gonna. But no, no, I want to cover one thing uh, oh, okay. to get to get it in the comments before I go. And if you got uh you know 50 people that want to go live, I think uh, I'll come back tomorrow and uh, sit here and uh, we can have an education session. Can we get some? Can we get somebody <laughs> that knows this technology? We can go live. Jeff Porter, I'm talking to you right now because I know for a fact you know the technology. I heard you on the last call. I know that you know what you're talking about. I'm asking you to please step up. I know that you're an advocate for this company. This isn't anything that's going to be disrespectful or us trying to attack you. Not at all. Do not think like that. We want some clarification. Okay. Right, we because there's some some people really bullish and I don't get it. But one thing, one thing I want to leave with before I go, and I, I'm going to leave. I know you're going to keep going for another hour, and I'll be, no. I will be sleep. But <laughs> the hiring practices, and this is from an HR angle, they hired uh, someone to the board from Ford, which would lead me to believe they're taking an M and A angle, mm -hmm. and then they hired uh, somebody in marketing, which would think. Uh, lead me to believe they're going in a mass production angle. Right. And then he's, you know, saying that their number one focus is strategic alternatives. And yeah. then he's in Asia about to start production. We all can agree on one thing. You're not going to be able to do all four of those strategies. Right. So which one is it? I think it was conflicting. So if somebody could explain that because... I don't know how much a marketing executive costs, but I'm sure it's not cheap. And I'm not, I don't know how much uh, going into production, because is it that much of a price difference? Can you be superior in level three? I know you can in level five autonomy driving, but in level three, isn't it kind of generic at that level? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, is this a, is it a superior product available 
when that's the market you're entering? Or can you create separation to justify these R&D and these, all of these patents? Are these patents a mute point if Summit is at level three and he claims this is where the money at and he's taking the company and not going north of level three? What right. then becomes of the patents? Right. Does he even need them? <laughs> and look, now I've got so many more questions. Uh, just digging into this, there's so many questions along the way that I that I have that I guess I was thinking, okay, I'm going to keep researching and finding the answers to all these, but it would make it so much easier if somebody that's been you know with this company for quite some time, if one of the OGs of this company that you know one of the OG investors could sit down with me for even off the record and let me run some of these questions by you and see if you can answer them before I do any further digging, that would be very helpful so that I can present the most accurate picture here. You know, and if, you know, if you don't know the answers, I'll keep digging. That's fine. But, you know, I am asking for a little help here because I'm, I'm trying to, like I said, present the most accurate uh, image of this company and what's going on here. So, uh, but I, Chris, I know you got to get out of here. So, um, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, you guys know that tomorrow we're going to try to, we can go live if, you know, whoever. some support, I'll, I'll come over. Yeah. I'm going to learn too, you know. I'm like, uh, I know there's some uh, pros out there. I've seen them and <laughs> heard from them. But, you know, I, I like I said, I just wish, uh, uh, you know, somebody would go in and, you know, just not attack him, but just make him break it down because he talks yeah. so far. I mean, that guy's a genius. Some of, that guy's on another level. So we can get, I don't even know what to tell him to get him to bring it down to my level. You know, just very quickly, I know you got to get out of here. I was reading some stuff on Reddit and I, whew, man, it was like a book on there. They broke all of this down and I saw somebody else came in and said, can you break this down to layman terms and give us like, you know, the, the short version that we can understand. And the person said, laugh out loud. That is a short version in layman's terms. Now I got the gist of it, but, uh, this is complex stuff. This is, you know, <laughs> it, it's hard to understand. Okay. I mean, this is kind of <laughs> beyond me. So look, we're not even trying to be funny or disrespectful or rude or whatever. We're trying to just understand. And, you know, anybody that understands exactly what's going on here or has a better picture than what we have been offering so far, please, you know, get a hold of us. You know, leave, drop, drop me something in the comment section and uh, let me know how to get a hold of you or, you know, whatever the case may be. And we want to try to get get with you guys before tomorrow, before Chris comes back over here so we can get things right. Deliver the most accurate information that we possibly can. That's that's what this is about. That's it. You know, there's no bull or bear. We just want to be accurate. And let's people. just all be fans yeah. tomorrow. So, guys, seriously. All right, all BS aside, let's do this together. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this so Chris can hit the road. It's kind of late for us in our on our time zone, and I know he wants to hit the sack. It is midnight. Is it really? It is midnight oh, in God. our time zone. Woo. I am clocking out. He's clocking Ticker out. Ticker family. It's a late night for I me. I will see you guys tomorrow. We can go live. If not, um... Uh, I'm sure we can be able to respond to some people in the comments. But I'll see you guys later. My name is Chris. I'm over at Spot Analysis. Come check me out. While I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app, available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel and is always appreciated. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watch, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now 
or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end and I will see you guys in the next video.